in this video let's talk about diagnostic trouble code DTC P0300 random cylinder misfire a random cylinder misfire can happen in a lot of places on the engine and it's not easy to detect it's something that may cost you a lot of money from spending with parts and running around with mechanics trying to figure out where a misfire is occurring now you will notice a misfire when it happens because while driving you're going to see that check engine light or the check engine logo light begins to flash rapidly as you're driving accelerating on the vehicle so that's what we're going to talk about that flashing checking engine light and that flashing check engine light is diagnostic code P0300 only so if there was a P0301 that will be a misfire a misfire on cylinder number one and number two on that 300 number will also mean cylinder number two but in this video we significantly are only going to talk about DTC code P0300 and that's random cylinder misfire so the first thing we want to start at is the intake manifold air leak which means you don't want to have any air leaking from any hoses or gasket joint that has to seal the intake air in from the engine so number two will be the exhaust system the exhaust system has become restrictive has a clog maybe the catalytic converter is coming apart starting to fill up in the chamber preventing the exhaust gas from flowing and this will contribute to a DTC P0300 also need to check the muffler some muffler has a packing in it and the packing could corrode and collapse on the pipe and cause that restriction another component that will most likely cause a misfire random cylinder misfire that will be the EGR so you'll have to check the vehicle for the EGR function making sure it does not have a vacuum leak the EGR valve itself the diaphragm is not puncture you have to check make sure all the holes and the connections are in tight fitted condition number four will be a balance test that will be checking the cylinders to make sure all of them fire at even power so normally what you would do there is with the engine running you will disconnect one of the injector and connect it while disconnecting the other and you will do this with all the cylinders what you're looking for is an imperfection in when you disconnect that injector from the others so what you want, you're looking for if you don't get that imperfection is you want to make sure you have a similar condition when you disconnect that injector from each cylinder another thing to cause a misfire will be the fuel injector themselves so that would either be the tip of the injector where it's spraying that fuel it's not atomizing as perfectly as the factory intended it to so it may need cleaning and that's something you could put a fuel injector cleaner in the gas tank and hope that works its way through and clean that tip of the injector to prevent a random cylinder misfire also you want to make sure that injector is making a clicking sound a ticking noise when the engine is at idle this will also tell you that it is a good working injector for an injector that does not announce or display that clicking sound might be a sign of a future faulty injector so another thing we want to look at on DTC 300 random cylinder misfire are the ignition system and this is the spark plug ignition system and the engine timing so the engine timing will not have much to do with a random cylinder misfire unless you have taken the cylinder heads off or had to do the timing belt replacement but anytime you get a DTC random cylinder misfire code which is a 300 
It will most likely be from the distributor wire, the distributor cap, and the rotor that's inside. Also, the spark plug could cause a random cylinder misfire. The first thing you want to do when detecting a random cylinder misfire with engine that display a coil wire or spark plug wire is you want to make sure you test the wire, the resistance of the wire from where it's connected to the spark plug will need disconnecting. You'll place that multivolt probe on the spark plug boot and the other end will have to be connected on the inside of the distributor cap with it removed from the distributor. So on that test you will want to see approximately 13.6 to 18.4 ohms at approximately 77 degrees Fahrenheit that's ambient room temperature and what we're looking for is a resistance in all the wires from the shortest one to the longest one that's the resistance we want to maintain on all the wires is a 13.6 to 18.4 ohms at 77 degrees Fahrenheit well now that you know that the ignition system could cause that misfire and when you're going to replace that wire obviously most of you are not going to use a genuine Nissan brand which is highly recommended it's something you should always make a habit of is using the dealer parts the genuine Nissan dealer part but in the event you should have to use aftermarket wires distributor cap and rotor you will want to look for that ohms resistance before you make that purchase not all wires will work on the engine since it needs to meet that resistance a wire without or not within that ohms resistance reading will most likely detect a misfire another thing to cause a misfire is inside the distributor you will notice there is a power transistor that will also cause a DTC 300 random cylinder misfire also the mass airflow sensor is capable of causing a mass airflow sensor code and a DTC P0300. Another thing that needs to get looked at when replacing the spark plug is you want to make sure you perform a compression test and that's where you're testing all the cylinder to make sure that it has the specified compression ratio that the factory recommend on most engine that will be approximately 175 psi on the high side and 141 on the low side so once you check that compression ratio and that's good then another thing you want to look for is either the primary oxygen sensor if that becomes detected fouled up or fail to read its data it could also create a DTC 300 misfire code by allowing it to display it on the fuel injector you have other parts that are also associated with a DC DTC P 300 and one of those parts are the fuel filter if the fuel filter is performing and it exceed over 100,000 miles you can still get a DTC misfire code because the pump may not be able to maintain fuel pressure which should be approximately 34 psi when the engine is idle also you do not want any restriction in the fuel system this would also cause a misfire so you will need to check the fuel filter for any clog you will also need to check the sump of the tank and the sock on the end of the fuel pump making sure it's not contaminated for providing resistance in fuel flow on the other side of that fuel flow will be the mass airflow sensor and at engine idle you want to see approximately 0.9 to 5.8 grams per second that's at idle and approximately 2500 rpm you would like to see 7.5 to 13.2 grams per second on the airflow 
another thing about the distributor and the coil wires that you can see here we have took the time and convert that clutch fan with the shroud from the factory OEM application to this dual brushless electric fan motor and these are OEM from the Nissan Rogue 2010 Nissan Rogue and it's also brushless which means it will last a long time now the reason we have done this is because like I said with the sh clutch fan and the shroud anytime the vehicle will encounter water and water should get on the fan that f water will get missed onto the distributor and eventually make its way into the distributor this would also contribute to a DTC P0300 misfire it will also prevent the engine from starting so that will be something you will have to look out for if you're still using that clutch fan and its radiator shroud